Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, thank you. Hey. Thank you. Nice you good. Ah, Father, you. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, the Lord be praised. Honey, I'm not pretty. Ah, that's true. Let's go and pray. It's a word of prayer. Ah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just oh, want to thank, thank you. Father, thank we are you. grateful. Thank, thank you, Lord. You. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank, thank you, Lord. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. You have done it at last. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have done it for us, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Despite all the hindrances thank you, Lord. Thank and the you, Lord. obstacles mm, 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 the devil mm. and his agents ah, placed on our way. Ah. You gave us victory, yes, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You gave us victory. Yes, Lord. We say, Lord, mm. begin to talk to us. Yes, Lord. Begin to instruct us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Concerning mm. our lives together. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As man and wife. Yes, Lord. Concerning mm. our future. Yes, Lord. Yes, concerning Lord. our ministry. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Lord, you, Lord. Uh, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jehovah. Ah, hallelujah. We thank you, God. Oh, we lift up our hands yes. to the great I am. Who was and who is and is to come. what you have done? You broke the vow, Mabel. You went ahead and broke the vow. I know of no more vow again between you and I, Iguana. No more vow again. As far as I am concerned, no more vow exists between you and I. Come back here. Do you realize what you are saying? This decision you have arrived at is a wrong one. It will never be in your interest. Have you seen why a vow such as ours is annulled this way? Just like that? Oh, maybe. <laughs> you have to recede on this decision of yours. Lie! You lie! Iguana, the decision is made already. I don't love you again, and I can never love you again. Never! Never! The Lord has given me a man whom I'm to love and to cherish. You are of the devil. I renounce you and I reject you in the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to leave me alone. Yeah! Yeah! Maybe. What is the matter? Maybe. What is the matter? Eh? Maybe. What is the matter? 
You screamed out of your sleep. Okay. Yes. I had a bad dream. Somebody frightened me in my dream. The person said he's not happy about our wedding. Who is the person? Mabel. Do you know the person? I mean, did you see the person? Uh, I, I, I don't think I know the person. Well, we must silence the mouth of every adversary that stands against this wedding. We need to pray and silence them. Why should you have such a bad dream on the first night of our honeymoon? We need to pray against all those who are annoyed against this wedding. This is a glorious wedding, and it is the Lord's doing. Let us pray, Mabel. Let us pray. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we declare this wedding sacred and sanctified. Lord, you are the one who have joined us together in holy matrimony. Father, we have resolved to live for your glory. Let everyone that rises up against us fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same new weapon formed of fashion against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. We say every evil spirit that rises against us we destroy in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. What do you want here? I've told you to leave me alone, Iguana. You have no single right to break this vow, Mabel. And you know it. You and I were both married together. And you know it too. Now listen, Iguana. Leave me alone. I have no part nor portion in you. I renounce you and I reject you in Jesus' name. You are not my husband. Haki is my husband in Jesus' name. Did you say that you have no part or portion in me? Yes, Iguana, because you are of the devil. And I am a new creature, sanctified and purified with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I know. But what about the children? Mabel, you and I have come a long way together for any man to come between us. What about the children? I do not know of any children between you and I, Iguana. I renounce you, and I renounce the children too. You renounce the children too? You renounce Elama and Gentus, Phobia and Bibi? 
pay bill. You renounce all the four children we have between us. Have you renounced me with all these children? How can I serve God and Mammon together? Iguana, the Lord has given me my real husband. He is Akinwale, and I'm his wife. And together we are going to have children who are of the Lord. We will all serve God together. I renounce you, and I renounce all your children in Jesus' name. Now listen, Mabel. I have tried my best to appeal to you passionately. But I think you have resolved to fight a war you'll never win. You are mistaken, Iguana. This war is already won by the Lord Jesus Christ. Leave me alone with my husband. We have come a long way together. You cannot reject us now. These are your children, Mabel. No, I renounce them all in Jesus' name. Today, the battle line is drawn. Your decision has endangered the life of your husband and yours too. You will never find it easy until you come back to us. No, you have no right to come into this house again. You have no right to come into our lives. I forbid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mabel, as long as you dwell in this house, I have access into it. You are my direct license into this house anytime, any day. Because you cannot deny the fact that you and I were both married too. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. <laughs> Is that so? But you had your last child after you said you had become a new creature. You had become a church worker and a choir director when you gave birth to Bibi. Just get out! Get out of this place! Oh, yeah, yeah. Get out of this place. Just go, 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 go! Just get out of this place. Doing, Fine, thank you. Uh oh. You look depressed. Are you okay? I've been feeling so weak. Really? We shall leave. <coughs> we left the office to the market and then back home. In fact, I've been feeling so weak these past few days. I just don't know why. Is that so? Yes, honey. Good. It it means we'll have to see the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what's there to eat? Oh, sorry. I've not been able to prepare anything. Mm -hmm. But I have some bananas. Do you want some? Bananas. Good. All right by me. I love bananas. OK. <sighs> Oh, thank you, my darling. Yeah. Hey, 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 honey, what's it? Hey, here, here. Sorry. Huh? Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, Mr. King. There's no cause for alarm. The result shows positive. Yes. She's expecting a baby. Eh? Praise God. Doctor, I beg your pardon, sir. The 
The pregnancy is two months old already. Oh. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has done it again. Oh, oh praise oh, God. Thank you, Doctor, Jesus. thank you very much. Thank you, Jesus. I'm very grateful, sir. Oh. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Oh, the Lord praise is God. good. Oh, the Lord. This is your doing. Yes, Lord. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Yes, Lord. Oh, we thank you, oh thank God. Thank you, Lord. There were wars, hindrances, yes, and obstacles yes, to stop our wedding. Yes, yes, but Lord. you fought for us, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you shamed the devil thank you, Jesus. and all his agents. Thank you, Lord. Thank Even you, Lord. after the wedding, oh God, mm -hmm. there were various mm -hmm. warring of the enemy mm -hmm. to frighten us. Mm -hmm. But you, Jehovah, oh. Jehovah, the oh. man of war, oh. you fought for us mm. and you gave us victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. And now, Lord, thank you, Lord. We have the fruit of the womb. Thank you, oh, Lord. praise to your holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Father, we just want to thank you. Father, I want to thank you for my husband. Yes. I want to thank you for him, oh Lord. Yes. Thank you for your grace upon his life. Yes. Thank you for me too. Thank you yes. for my womb, oh Lord. Thank yes. you for blessing me with this fruit of the womb. Father, yes. we give you praise, oh Lord. Thank you for our home, oh Lord. Yes. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mabel! What do you want? The flower. Which flower? The tender flower, of course. No. You cannot touch this flower. It is mine. You're mistaken, honey. I will not only touch the flower. I'll touch the pot, too. No, Iguana. You cannot touch this flower. It is mine. The pot belongs to both of us. No. Give it to me. No, Iguana. Give it to me. No, Iguana. Give it to no, me. No, Iguana. Ah, oh, Iguana. No, no. Give me the pot. Oh, no. No, give me the pot. No! What's the matter, maybe? Uh, what is the matter? Toilet! Huh? Okay. Toilet! Okay. Yeah! Ah. Maybe. Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Hello, you are welcome. Have your seat. Good enough. Thank you. You are blessed, dear sister. What is the problem all about? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Come on, brace up now and tell me what it is all about. Ma and Mabel, a born again child of God, a church worker, in fact, the choir leader of my church. I belong to one of the biggest Pentecostal churches in the city. I am married. And my husband is the Bible study leader of our church. We've been married for two years now. Yes, go. And up till now, 
we're still looking on to the Lord for a child. Yes, go on. This has continually made me sad every day. Yes, go on. That is all. Are you sure? Sure. <laughs> then there is no cause for alarm. Are you surprised to hear that? You are married for the past two years and you've got to know he's your right. Many ladies and women in the Lord have been here on the same matter. And I've said the same thing to them. No cause for alarm. But for some of them, have boldly and emphatically made them realize that there are many causes for alarm. Really? How, how do you mean, ma? You see, Mabel, for those who have no cause for alarm, these are the children of God born again those who are walking in the will of god and they are living their life in the counsel of god they have no part with unrighteousness and they are righteous before the lord they have no cause for alarm because in the niv version of exodus 23 26 the lord says no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. And you will fulfill the numbers of your days. That is the verdict. But I've not gotten an issue since I've been married for two years. Oh, yes. If your ways is perfect before the Lord and you wait upon him, then you have no cause for alarm. The child will come. Please. Tell me, Mama. I know of seven women mentioned as barren in the Bible, and none of them died childless except one, and that is Michael, the wife of David. She died without a child because she despised the Lord. And all the others had children before they died? Oh, yes. Mm, they were barren for a while. But the Lord opened their womb at the appointed time. And when these children came, each of them was a great child of God. You see, when the Lord will open the womb of Rebecca, she gave birth to two nations. <laughs> Rachel's womb was opened with Joseph, the prime minister of Egypt. Manuel gave birth to Samson, the most physically powerful man ever lived. And Hannah gave birth to Samuel, that great prophet. Sarah born Isaac, the child of promise. And Elizabeth gave birth to John, the forerunner of Jesus Christ. You see, it was as if their womb were reserved for specially great children. I believe the child will come. Oh, yes. If you remain loyal to the Lord and you rest on him, he has never disappointed his children and he will not disappoint you either. But I wonder if my case is not among those who are having causes for her lamb. What do you mean? I've been having bad dreams since I got married. There is a man that comes to give me problem in my dream. The first night of our honeymoon, he came to me telling me that I had broken the vows that I had with him. I have had five miscarriages since I got married. 
Each time I was pregnant, I would see him plucking a tender flower from the flower pots. And the following morning, after beating me in my dream, I will see and discover that I have lost the pregnancy. For the past seven months, I have not been able to take him. This man you always see in your dream. Didn't you used to see him before you got married? I used to see him before I got married, ma. You were merely seeing him occasionally, or you were both close as husband and wife? Um, very close, ma. Almost every night as husband and wife. Then you must have gotten some children. Have you been seeing some children with him in your dream? Yes. I used to see some four children with him. And many times, I find myself in their midst. Have you told your husband? I mean, did you know about the man and the children? You mean you never told him anything before you got married? No, ma. I thought I would be able to get over this man that comes to disturb me in my dreams. I came physically. I saw him in the midst of the crowd. And since that time, he has been coming to threaten my life. And many times, he comes to assault me. Maybe I... No. I want you to talk to me. Since you got married, have you at any time seen this man in your dream sleeping with you? I mean, lying with you? <laughs> Maybe I'll... You've got to open up. You've got to open up, Maybe. Yes, about three times now, and the last time was about a month ago. <laughs> Ma, I really need your help. Please help me. I have prayed and I have fasted about this issue so many times. In fact, I have rebuked him many times in the name of Jesus. But it keeps coming to threaten my life. Please help me. I need your help. Mabel, do you realize this man is your spirit husband? And you both have spirit children? Yes, I knew it. I knew it before I got married. But I just assumed that it will die out as soon as I'm married. Please help me. Your deliverance starts right inside your home, Mabel. First, your husband must know about this. What? I don't see how that can ever be possible. How can I, how can, how, how can I br break my husband's heart? Can 
the Lord do this thing without him getting to know about all this? I mean, can't I be delivered? You've got to open up to your husband so that both of you can withstand this evil man who has been making your marriage uncomfortable. Ma, don't you understand? Is it conceivable? Telling my innocent husband that I, that I have a spirit husband that has been responsible for all the troubles that we've been having since all these days. And now, to tell him that I've gotten some children for this spirit husband, when I have not been able to give him the joy of godly one. If you want to come out of all this, you must open up to your husband and allow the Lord to take over the whole matter. <laughs> but will it not rather be his joy to get to know all this on the naming ceremony of our child? I mean, getting to know about my deliverance. Mabel, do you realize you have sinned against this man by keeping all this matter from him? You made him carry his sorrow and confusion without making him realize the matter lies with you. That is exactly what I'm saying. That is exactly what I'm saying. Will the revelation not affect him? Would it break his heart if he gets to know that I've been unfaithful to him and that I've been keeping all those things since all these days? Ah, Lord. Lord, help me. Oh. Yes. Oh, Lord. Remember the Bible says, two are better than one. Ah. You have no moral or spiritual strength to fight this battle alone. Go and open up to your husband. Tell him everything, then come back to me. Oh. Mabel. You must open up to your husband. Keep nothing back. Excuse me, ma. Yes, my dear. Can you permit me to ask you a question? Yes, go on. I don't think you know how I am feeling. Having to go and confront my innocent husband and telling him that I've been responsible for all the troubles we've been passing through all these years. And making him to understand that I've been responsible for our not being able to have a child for the past two years. You have not yet asked your question, Mabel. How old was your marriage, Ma, before you had your first child? Mabel, it may interest you that my marriage was nine years old two weeks ago. And we are still waiting upon the Lord for a child. What? The Lord has promised my husband and I that a great child is coming into our family. It's going to be as great as Samuel, and we are waiting for him. So we have no cause for alarm. Nine years? Yes, but my own case is different from yours, Mabel. I've never had spirit husband. 
In fact, I knew the Lord very early. And I have loved and been serving him since. But like Hannah and Rachel, the Lord is reserving my womb for that great child. So, have I answered your question? Baby, baby, go and open up to your husband. Keep nothing back. medical doctors and three specialists have certified me medically fit. I have become more confused, Mama. Uh, why are you confused? I mean, tell me, why are you confused? You have been certified medically fit. Then the problem was lying. Ah, something must be wrong with her. <laughs> but Mama, we were both certified medically fit on each occasion. And medical reports reveal that there is nothing medically wrong with her. That is medical reports. I mean, that is medical reports. I am talking about moral reports. I mean, spiritual reports. Definitely there is nothing wrong with you. You said, she had more than four miscarriages now? <laughs> How? Why? Eh? <laughs> I don't know, Mama. You see, it just happened. You see, she was very, very sad on each occasion. You know, it really disturbed us a lot. You know, I just don't know. Come off it, my son. What just happened? Having four miscarriages in rapid succession at and you say it just happened. Ah, Haki, your situation is pathetic. Very pathetic. She must be a witch. Ah, Mama. Mama. How can you say that, Mama? Ah, she is my wife, Mama. Hmm. Ah, there is no witch in this house, Mama. The mere fact that we have a delay in having children does not mean you should come here and call my wife a witch. Mama, she is a child of God. Ah, oh, Mama. <laughs> What's the matter, honey? There is nothing wrong with me. Nothing at all. You think you can bribe me with your fake smiles and hypocritical hospitality? Neighbor, you can't keep me from expressing my observation. You just can't. Observations? Mama, what observations? Mbo, what could have cost four miscarriages in rapid succession? What may bear, if not witchcraft? Eh? Mama! You call me a witch? Mama, 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 this is enough. Ah, mama, this is enough. Ah, mama, you, 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 you can't come here and start calling my wife a witch. Ah, look, we might have a mere delay in having children, but that does not mean you should call her a witch, mama. Ah, you cannot call her a witch. She's not a witch, mama. Leave me alone. Don't shout on me. Let her explain what caused those miscarriages. Ah, mama. Anything could have caused it. Hmm. But definitely, I'm not a witch, Mama. You're not a witch. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Mama, why are you enjoying her spirit, Mama? Why? Why, Mama? Eh? Mama, we should find words of encouragement mm. eh? and blessings from your mouth, Mama. Not words of hopelessness and discouragement, Mama. Eh? Mama, why? Why, Mama? Mama, I'm terribly disappointed with you this night, Mama. I'm terribly disappointed. Eh? Why, Mama? Eh? You have seized this pot and you have destroyed every beautiful flower that sprouts in it. Until you agree to come back to me, we have a vow that cannot be broken. Iguana, six times you have seized this pot and you have destroyed every beautiful flower that sprouted in it. Now, give the pot back to me. Mabel, you can't have this pot back. I must keep it until you agree to come back to me. Never forget about my coming back to you. You have seized this pot. You have taken away my joy. You have cost me at ache. Iguana. Mother, if you take any step further, closer to me, I will do what you will regret for the rest of your life. As it is, flowers can still grow from the spot if I permit it. And if you agree to come back to me. Never, Iguana. You are darkness and I am light. What agreement has light got to do with darkness? Then you are adamant. I will break this flower pot that no flower will ever grow in it again. What has light got to do with darkness, Iguana? You are darkness and I am light. Then so be it. Iguana! 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 No, Iguana! No, Iguana! No, Iguana! No, Iguana! No! Iguana! No! 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 Iguana, 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 you broke the pot, you broke the pot, you broke the pot. Ah, 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 What is the matter? Ah, 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 What is the matter? You broke the pot. Why are you crying? Honey, come on, talk to me. Why are you crying? What is the matter? Why are you crying? Look here, Mabel. Why are you crying? Huh? Look, I don't understand what all this is about. Huh? Why are you putting me in difficult situations? Huh? Why? Why are you treating me like this? Huh? Several times you shout out of your sleep. In the middle of the night you scream. I, I mean, I don't understand. And you've not been able to tell me the root of all this. What is all this about? Huh? I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm fed up. Why? What's the matter? I, I was hearing her crying so loud. Later, I heard you two talking so loud. 
What's the matter? What's wrong with our day? We usually experience this kind of things often. We hear her screaming in the middle of the night out of her sleep. Mm -hmm. She shouts in the middle of the night for no reason. She has not been able to talk to me. <sighs> Is that so? Maybe. Why are you crying? What's the matter? Aki. Yes. Huh? Please tell Mama to excuse us. Huh? Tell Mama to excuse us. Uh, Mama? <coughs> she wants to talk to me alone. Okay. Yes, excuse okay. us. Good night. Good night, Mama. Listening. Go ahead. First of all, I want you to know that I am placing my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Trusting him to take control of the situation henceforth. It is with this faith that I'm telling you all this. Honey, I appreciate it. Huh? Go on. Secondly, Aki, I want you to know that it is the love that I have for you. And the fear of losing you, Aki, has made me to keep the secret from you all this while. Honey, I'm listening. I've been seeing a man in my dream ever before we got married. to him completely. And what did he say? At first, he was stricken with shock. And when I told him about the four spirit children, and that the man has finally broken the flower pots, he burst into tears. Then he left the room and sat outside all through the night till this morning. I went to him. I persuaded him to come inside. I begged him. I even knelt down beside him, trying to ask him to forgive me. He did not even look at my side. He would not listen. Now, I did everything. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it to break his heart. Have your sins. Oh, I just knew it. I knew it. That's okay. It. Sit down. I knew it to break his heart. Maybe. Maybe. When did you see the man who broke the carpet? I had an intense struggle with him in my dream overnight. And when he discovered that I have already made up my mind never to come to him, he just smashed the flower pot into pieces, saying that no flower will ever grow in it again. 
Did you tell your husband the meaning of the flower and the flower pots? Yes, I did. I told him. I told him everything. It was too painful for him to bear. I told him that when the spirit husband destroyed the flower pots, he had already destroyed my womb and that no pregnancy will grow in it again. That was when he burst into tears. And now, the bubble has burst. The bubble has burst, oh. I don't know the next thing to do. I don't know what my husband will do next. I just don't know his next line of action. I don't know. Mabel. Mabel, you must remember that by telling him what you have told him, you are fulfilling the covenant you made with him before the Lord. You are pitching your tent on the Lord's side. Ah. <laughs> but the spirit's husband said, I cannot be pregnant again. And my husband may decide to send me packing. And why? Iguana said he, he said he has destroyed my womb. Iguana can say whatever he chooses to say. Who is he that speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Mabel, if the Lord has not cursed you, no man can curse you. Because there is no enchantment against Jacob. And there is there any divination against Israel. So, what am I supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. Good question. First, understand that you've not been able to put that evil man from behind you because you have been fighting the battle alone without the knowledge and support of your God-ordained husband. Now, you must get your husband to accept you with love, forgive you, and be ready to join you against this evil man. How? How do I get him to forgive me? To forgive me? Ah. The Lord has started your deliverance process already. He's been true with the first phase, and that is the confession, your full confession to your God-given husband. The second phase involves him. He must forgive you. I just don't understand how that can ever be possible. I don't see myself being able to do it, except the Lord is going to do it. Mabel. I don't know how that is possible. Mabel, let's pray together. Give me your hands. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for how far you've helped us in this battle. Thank you for your mercy on Mabel and for giving him the courage to open up before her husband. Thank you for the successful completion of this first phase of the deliverance. Thank you, Lord. We've called you into the matter, Lord. Now take over. Amen. Lord, the heart of the king is in your hand. And like the rivers of many waters, you turn it to wherever you want, Lord. Touch the heart of her husband. Soften his heart Amen. into your divine counsel. Amen. And Father, let your favor and your grace follow her as she approaches her husband for his full, wholehearted forgiveness. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Jesus. Mabel. Yes, Ma. I want you to know this, that you are not alone. The Lord is with you. Amen. And I think your, your pastor must be informed. I believe the Lord will give you some part to play in this matter, especially on the part of your husband. Okay. And I would like to know your house too. Can you give me the description of your house?
right. That's the rest of the song. And where are you coming from by this time, my dear wife? Do you realize our pastor was here and he asked of you? And he left without seeing you. Oh, our pastor? You went to inform him? Of course, my dear wife. He was shocked to hear that you had a spirit husband and children before going to the altar with me. He was more shocked and surprised to hear that the man had destroyed your womb after several miscarriages. But do you actually believe the man has the power to destroy my womb? But you said it. That was what you said. You said the man had already said it. Hakim. Hakim. I'm now speaking to you as a regenerated being, bought and sanctified with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hakim, please look at me, please, Hakim. I want you to know that I have been delivered from the power of darkness and I'm translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Hakim, I was doing the fighting all alone because I didn't want to injure your feelings. I didn't want to injure you. I didn't want to hurt you, Aki. Eh? Because I love you so much. I didn't want you to, 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 to be hurt, Aki. And I was doing all, all the fighting alone. Aki, please. It was only when the Lord spoke through his servant that I should come and open up to you and tell you everything of which I did. And now, the Lord is asking me to come and meet you as my God-ordained husband, having a legal ground to join hands with me and silence this evil man. I can please. The Lord is asking you to come and meet me? For what? Huh? How can I live my life with a woman without a womb? Huh? Ah, How? Haki. Oh. Haki. Do you actually believe this man can successfully take away my womb? But you Haki. said it. You said it. Ah. You said the man broke the pot. You said it. Oh, Haki, please. Haki. That was what the man said. And he could say whatever he chooses to say, Aki. Please. Eh? Who is it that speaks when the Lord has not commanded it? Eh? It cannot come to pass unless the Lord commands it. Aki. Eh? Please, Aki, please. I only told you all the things I told you because I was fulfilling the covenant I made with you before the Lord. Hey, eh? please, Aki, please, I'm just begging you, please, Aki, please. I don't know. Please. I, I, I don't please. understand. Aki, please. I can't understand, please. Mabel. Please. I am more confused. Please. I can't understand. There is someone at the door. Go and see who's at the door. The door is not locked. You can come in, please. Ha! Ah. You're welcome, ma. Thank you. You go to my house. Is this oh. your husband? Yes, this is my oh. husband. Nice to meet you, sir. It's nice having you in our house, ma. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome, ma. Thank you. I, I, I watch your TV program every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. The Home on the Rock. Oh, it's a wonderful program. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome, ma'am. Uh, please, please sit down. Do have your seats. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. How did you get to know this place, ma'am? And uh, what can we do for you, ma'am? Mabel, I know her well. She's my friend. Mabel? <laughs> your friend? You are wondering how we be friends? Well, actually, she came to me. She told me everything that has happened. And I was the one that advised her to go and open up to you. I'm happy she came to you. And I'm not surprised that you felt so bad and disappointed. I told her that our full confession to you is the first phase of our deliverance process. The second phase lies on your part. What part do I have in this, man? You see, sometimes divine miracles and breakthrough in the life of a couple cannot be established until some spiritual obstacles are removed. You have not yet started to experience 5% of goodness, blessings, and divine miracle God has for you as a couple until the spiritual obstacles and entrances standing across you are removed. What exactly do you mean, ma? The spiritual problem she encountered does not mean God did not mean you for each other as husband and wife, it only means that without you, a miracle cannot be perfect. And without her, your life cannot be complete. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I... <laughs> your part in this deliverance process is to forgive her wholeheartedly. But ma, I'm terribly hurt. I'm completely disoriented. Why? Yesterday, my mother came. I had to send her back this morning because she wanted to know the details of what Mabel was discussing with me last night. My family members and relatives are totally disappointed and they cannot understand why my two-year-old marriage cannot produce a single child. But didn't you say you love my television program? Yes, ma. But what has that got to do with the situation on ground, ma? You see, sometimes the Lord do allow some of his children to pass through horrible an embarrassing situation in order to prepare them for his great assignments. Uh, please be more explicit, ma. You see, I received a lot of letter of testimonies and commendation on that television program. Many families have been strengthened. The program is a blessing to many homes and couples because of the experience the Lord is making me to pass through during my period of waiting upon him. Waiting upon him? For exactly what, ma? I told your beautiful wife three weeks ago, on the fourth of this month to be exact, my husband and I celebrated our ninth wedding anniversary without a child. What? We are still waiting upon the Lord. We have conducted several naming ceremonies for our church members without a child of our own. I can't believe this. Why? I mean, the way you bubble with joy on your TV program. Jesus Christ. Nobody will ever know. 
goodness. May I tell you another secret? Please do. There are two categories of barren women in the Bible. Those whose womb were being preserved for children of destiny. Like Rebecca, who gave birth to Jacob and Esau. Rachel gave birth to Joseph, the prime minister of Egypt, who preserved the children of Israel. And Manoah gave birth to Samson, the deliverer of Israel. Hannah gave birth to Samuel, that great prophet. Sarah bore Isaac, the promised child. And Elizabeth gave birth to John, the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Out of these seven barren women in the Bible, none of them died childless except one, and that is Michael, because she despised the Lord. And that is the second category of barren women in the Bible. Those who despise the Lord by walking against his will and purpose. Nine years of marriage without a child? I belong to the category of Hannah, whose whom the Lord was preserving to bring forth the great prophet Samuel. My womb is being preserved by the Lord for that great child. And that is why I bubble with joy every day. Huh. You are a blessing man. Thank God for your life. And for your information, there are many women like me who love the Lord and fear him, who have not corrupted their life on the altar of sin, whose wombs have been preserved by the Lord for children of destiny who have roles to play in God's end time program. Hmm. Thank God for your life, man. You are a blessing. I forgive you, honey. I forgive you. Thank you. Together, we shall fight this battle and we shall win. Amen. I appreciate you. Thank you. Good. Very good. You have successfully completed the second phase of this deliverance process. The third phase holds tonight. I will come back for an all night prayer session. What do you think you're doing, you fool? Gathering the broken pieces of the pot? <laughs> Can you ever make anything out of it again? Stop it. I said stop it! Uh, stop it! Look here. Your flower pot is broken and shattered. Forget about ever sprouting any flower. 
You shall be barren forever. Who is he that speaketh and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? And who is that? Let her go. I see you have come to her rescue. You snatched her away from me and made her abandon me. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Lie! I have her in my hands. I have destroyed her flowers about six times. I have just broken her flower pot. As long as she lives, I will humiliate her for abandoning me and the children. She is under my control. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? You have just said it right. She is my lawful captive, and no one can deliver her from me, not even you. But thus saith the Lord, Iguana, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. The prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contends with you. No! No! No one! No one can deliver her from me! I will make her more miserable for breaking our vow. I will, I will make her amount to nothing in life. Hear what the Lord has said concerning her iguana. Huh? I would feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood. Oh, no. Oh, no! No. No. That lady, that lady, that lady is my captain. I have placed the curse on her for abandoning me. That no matter what she does in life, she will never make it. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, Iguana. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. Uh, no! No, 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 no. Those causes are permanent, and they are for life. They are for, li they are for life, yes. She has been forgiven of all her trespasses, Iguana. The Lord has blotted out the handwriting of all ordinances against her huh? by nailing it onto the cross of Calvary. She is delivered, Iguana. Uh, no. No! What is happening to me? <laughs> what is happening to me? What is all this supposed to mean? It means the Lord is rescuing his child from your hand, Iguana. Oh. <laughs> I am undelivered from your hand, Iguana! In the name of Jesus! No! 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 Yes! Uh. Yes! Yes, we win. Two are better than one. It is decreed. If two of you shall agree touching anything on the earth, it shall be established. No. The lawful captive is delivered. And the prey of the mighty is taken away today. In Jesus' name. Yes, 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 we win, we win, we win, we win, we win, we win, two against one, we win, two are better than one, because they have a reward for their labor. No, no, she can't go, she belongs to me, no. No! 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 We win. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. 
the horse and its rider has been thrown into the sea. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The enemy has said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide his spoil. My lust shall be consumed on them. I will draw my sword and I will destroy them. Who is, Who is like unto, unto thee, O Lord? Lord? Among the thy gods. gods. Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness. That's the song. They shall be rescued and be delivered. Captains of the might. That's the song. The song. They shall be rescued and be delivered. Are you through with the reports? Yes, sir. Oh. Then um, you have to take the reports to the chairman at the headquarters. Okay, sir. But you ought to have taken these reports to the chairman since last week. What has been delaying you? I'm sorry, sir. I'll try and take it there today. <sighs> okay, you can go. Thank you, sir. Mabel. Yes, sir. Oh. I've been noticing you for the past one week. You've been looking so dull and quiet. This is all like you. Thank you, sir. It's like I've been feeling very sick and... I've not been feeling too well of recent. Then you have to go and see the doctor. Right. He'll give you some drugs. You can go and rest for the day. Thank you, sir. The result shows you are three months pregnant. Preg what? You are three months pregnant. Pregnant? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Take away to your husband. Thank you so much. <laughs>
of the mighty, the slaves of the strong, they shall be rescued and be delivered. Captives of the mighty, the slaves of the strong, they shall be rescued. Hello, Red Red. Mrs. Aki, what's up? You look so excited. Tell them. I'm pregnant, ma. Pregnant? <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> The doctor just told her right now. Mm -hmm. We were coming from your office, mm -hmm. but they told us that you had gone home. <laughs> sorry, sorry, she resort. couldn't go to the office today. You, she needed oh, some rest. Uh, she needed some rest. Um, oh. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has shown his faithfulness again. Amen. Amen. This is a sign that the Lord has opened a new chapter in your life. Amen. 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 Please come inside. It's worth celebrating. Oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Please, let's go inside. <laughs> Thank, oh, you. Thank you. Greg Badebo. Dr. Badebo. I hope there's no problem. Dr. Badebo. It is not an infection, sir. In fact, another medical laboratory test confirmed it. Then what is it? Um... The Reverend Mrs. is three months pregnant. Hey! Oh! What? Oh! In praise fact, God. Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Congratulations, ma. Congratulations, ma. Yes. Uh, congratulations. Oh. Your time is now for your salvation. 